Well, looks like we have a new project to do. Let's get started. All right, hey everybody. Uh, it's Jay up here at the Vermont House. This weekend, we're gonna be replacing the old portable fire ring with a new, more permanent one that we build. To build this, we'll be using about 30 wall blocks, some sand, some pea stone, and lava rocks. And then we'll top it off with some decorative stone around the sides. It's gonna be about three levels high and in a more permanent location. So uh, let's get started on it. Okay, so the first step is to figure out where to build it. We wanted it in a spot that would allow people to sit all around it and just far enough away from the new trees. We place the blocks out in a circle and use the shovel along the outside edge to cut through and mark the circle. So after we go around with the shovel, I just use the, the little hand tool claw here to make the outside edge a little more pronounced. We're gonna go ahead and uh, flip the blocks over and get digging out the center. Alright, so we uh, got the circle complete here with the shovel and the little hand tool, flip the blocks over. Now, unlike a lot of other videos we've seen, I, we don't want to take up too much of the center here. Just kind of want to skim off the, the layer of grass as we're not going to bury our blocks halfway down like some of them do. It's just going to be our preference because we're going to put the little decorative stone on the outside edge afterwards. So I'm going to skim off this top and then we'll move along. Now that the uh, top layer is off, I'm just going to go ahead and clean it up a little bit with a little rake here just to get some of the big chunks out and get it cleaned up and prepared for the sand. For the, uh, the base here, we're just going to use this paver sand. Pick this up at the Home Depot as well. Uh, this is the only one they had in stock, so it doesn't really matter what kind it is. I'm just going to use it as a base to help level the blocks in the ground. Just dump it right in and smooth it out. Once you uh, dump the sand in there, there's nothing really special I need to do with it. Just, you know, spread it out so the sand covers all of the ground in the area that you're working in. You don't have to be specific on how much in every certain area. You just want to cover it and then you're going to lay your bricks on top and use the sand to level the bricks. Now that the, uh, the sand is all spread out, you're going to start placing the bricks down for the first level. What we're going to do is we're going to leave a little gap in between all of the bricks on all levels just to help the airflow, you know, to help keep the fire burning nice and hot. And, uh, from what I've read and things I've learned is you know, the better the airflow, the less smoke there is. So that's what we're aiming for here. Okay, well now we have the first layer or the first level of wall blocks down there. I'm going to take this 2x4, use my level, and we're going to go make sure that the bottom layer is level all the way around. So we want to get that bubble right in the middle. And uh, if we need to, we're just going to lift the blocks up and either take sand out from underneath, put some sand, or move some sand underneath, and then use the rubber mallet to pound them down as needed going all the way around, making sure that the blocks are level. All right, 
level two. So we're gonna go ahead and stack the next 10 blocks. So each row is gonna have 10. And we're not gonna stack them evenly or equally to the layer below. We're gonna stagger them so that it's over the seam of the two bricks below it. So we're gonna half on one brick, half on the other. And I know I'm saying brick, but they are blocks. Now we're gonna do this all the way around again leaving a little gap in between to help with the airflow. Alright, so we got the second level on. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the, uh, the next layer on the inside, uh, which is going to be some pea stone. It doesn't have to be any specific brand or anything. Right. The pea stone along with the sand is going to help with drainage in the long run. So we just got one bag which would be more than enough uh, for this project. And again, you know, it doesn't have to be a specific brand. Just any pea pebbles will work fine. Okay, so along with the pea pebbles, we went ahead and got some lava rock, uh, just because we wanted to. One, it kind of looks nice in the beginning. Two, it's going to help with drainage as well. And it's also going to help with uh, heat retention. So to keep that fire pit burning nice and hot. Okay, level three. So it's time for the next level and final level of the wall blocks here. Again, we're gonna stagger the bricks just like we did on the second level. So half the brick is on either side of the brick below. And we're gonna do that again all the way around to get the top level on. Okay, the third level is on. And what we did here, we left one brick out. So it kind of gives it a front. So this would be the front of the fire pit. Uh, even though we set it up for people to sit all the way around it. And it also just make it easier to tend the fire to with the fire poker or whatever. So our next step here is uh, we're gonna take some decorative stone. Again, it doesn't have to be any specific brand. We just got these mini marble chips. And we're gonna dig out maybe an inch or two all along the base of the fire pit and then we're going to lay these in to give it a more decorative look. We just thought it would look kind of cool so let's go ahead and do that. Okay now that we dug out around the outside bottom edge I'm just going to go ahead and use the little shovel here and lay the decorative stone all around the outside. Okay, now we're all done. Cleaned up and took the old fire pit out. Take a little walk around the outside. It looks awesome. Now we're gonna have to put it to use. Sun's going down, get this fire started, and relax, and enjoy the fruits of our labor. <laughs>